Okay, so let's go to solid fuels. So I have here the uh, components of a solid fuels. So we have uh, content that we it has a carbon, no, it has a hydrogen, it has an oxygen. We have the O2, nitrogen, sulfur, and we have moisture and ash. So you will notice here we have the pie chart, no. So you will notice here how many percentage yung uh, content ng bawat item na ito. So for carbon we have 50, uh, 53% of for the total volume. Then for uh, or mass, no. So for hydrogen, so we have. Uh, so sorry, this is. Uh, for moisture so we have moisture which is six percent no then volatile matter so later on that is composed of uh for volatile matter are so volatile matter are composed of hydrogen nitrogen so we have your hydrogen nitrogen and so forth so that is almost uh 30 percent 36 percent now for the ash so we have this one okay and for fixed carbon, so this is mostly uh, a certain percentage. Okay. So let's proceed. Now for the analysis of the solid fuels, so we have three. So you have proximate analysis. Uh, B, we have ultimate analysis. And we have your C, uh, we have your modified analysis. Now, for proximate analysis, so this is an important method of laboratory examination for of solid fuels, which is based upon their volatilization characteristics. So this involves the determination of one, the moisture content, no, then determination of volatile combustible combustible matter. We have your BCM, so we have your ash, pigs carbon. Now for um now uh, moisture is defined uh, the water that is being expelled when the whole sample is heated for one hour at a given temperature of 104 to 110 degrees celsius now the definition for the volatile combustible matter so that will be the total loss and weight weight minus the moisture in coal when it is heated for seven minutes minute in a close crucible place in a muffle furnace at 900 degrees celsius so in the absence of air so it includes volatile carbon combined matter combined water net hydrogen nitrogen and so forth now for the ash so this will re uh, this is uh, the residue that remains when weight uh, weight sample of, blow of coal is, is slowly heated in an open crucible for two hours at 500 to 815 degrees celsius now for peaks carbon fc so this is obtained by the difference from 100 percent of the sum of the moisture bcm and ash so for the peaks, peaks carbon we have 100 no minus your moisture so minus your bcm volatile combustible matter then minus your ash so let's go to ultimate analysis. Uh, it is defined as the pre precise chemical determination of percent by weight of the six basic components of coal. So we have carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, ash, and oxygen usually obtained by means of difference. No? So that is by means of ultimate analysis. So later on, we will doing, be doing that one. Then next, we have modified analysis. So that is the modification of the ultimate analysis for the combustion calculation. So it includes the carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, and ash, moisture, combined water, CW, the oxygen, and the coal. So that will be not present in moisture. So it is a treated as truly true where already combined with hydrogen. Then we have number four. So that includes net hydrogen, hydrogen which requires O2 from air for combustion. Now, for the empirical relation on coal analysis and carolipic values, we have the formula of Dolong's formula. 
So we have the carolipic value of gross carolipic value of the coal. So that is equal to 0 0.338. So carbon, no? Plus 1.44. So we have multi going to multiply it by the hydrogen minus your oxygen divided by 8 plus 0 0.094 for sulfur. So we have here CHOS so that will be in sometimes we call it CHOS. So in percent by weight of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. Assumptions in Dulong's formula. So we have one, the carolipic value of fuel is the algebraic sum of the heating values of the element components. Number two, oxygen is combined with hydrogen as in combined water and moisture so that the surplus moisture available for the combustion net hydrogen is H minus zero over eight. Now, number three, the heat of formation, the coal, so is zero. Then we have next letter B, the Calder Wood equation. So it is useful in finding the total carbon content of the coal if the proximate analysis and the carolic carolipic ba value are known. So we have here the Calderwood uh, Calder Wood equation. So that will be your C. So that it represents as a, the total carbon content of the coal. So that is equal to 5.88 plus 2.206 times the carolipic value of the coal minus 0 0.094 we have your sulfur plus 0 0.0053 multiply to 80 minus 100 times bcm divided by the fixed carbon that is raised to the exponent of 1.5 okay so this defines the characteristic when we're talking about young uh, solid fuel. So, late, uh, next video will be proceeding the sample sample problem.